Hello and welcome back to Non-League to Glory and this is our Dulwich Hamlet save. As you know, this is where we'll try to take Dulwich Hamlet from Non-League to the Premier League. Um, as you can see, we are currently in the Championship. So we are one way, um, one step, sorry, away from reaching our goal, which is the Premier League. Um, let's go straight into it, guys and girls. Uh, let's go into the transfers. Um, I did um, at the moment. We've got 121k left. We have 4.27k per week for the wages. Um, I did say I wasn't going to bring in a lot of people, but um, yeah, this is exactly what happened. Um, so we're just going to go through it um, bit by bit. Um, and the first one here is Ben Tilney. Um, we did buy him, but um, I ended up um, releasing him because. Um, he just wasn't good enough, so we actually wasted about 40k um, having to release him. That's one of the players that have, that we brought in and then we just got rid of him. Um, just wasn't good enough. Unfortunately, the scoutings didn't do their job properly. Moving on to the next one, and this is Darren Lime Leon. Um, he is a ball-winning midfielder. Um, definitely one that we need. So we're trying to mix up exactly the types of options and players and styles we have for our... Um, for our centre midfield, he is a two and a half star. Um, but as you can see here, um, he's got a not bad tackling, work rate, teamwork. And obviously, we definitely need him to be aggressive. Not too much, but a bit, obviously, anticipation and bravery, as well as having um, good stamina, pace, strength and agility. And that's exactly what we need from a centre midfielder. But he's coming in just to um, probably a rotate and back up um, midfielder. Um, just so we have different types of styles. Um, then um, we have another midfielder, um, Kyan uh, Flanagan, and he's a box-to-box, -box. again, um, a different type of midfield style that we have. And as you can see, um, his mentals are not too bad for what he needs for his um, attributes, which is obviously off the ball, um, obviously getting into that space, teamwork, uh, passing's obviously got to be good, finishing dribbling, Normal things that he wants. And again, this is what we want. He's going to be running with the ball, gets forward possible and tries to dictate pay, uh, play. Sorry, And that's a three-star potential, four-star um, midfielder. Only 23 years old, Irish. Um, so why not? We got him on a three. We have another backup um, midfielder, and that is Dean Parrott. As you can see, very, very good mental stats that he has there. Um, work rate 17, so you know he works hard. Vision, off the ball, decision um, and composure. Um, positioning could be better, but um, I guess it's not too bad. And um, he can also play out wide as well if we ever need. So again, if we look at his stats for playing out wide, it's not that bad. Obviously, he's quite a slow player, so um, we'd probably be looking to make him into a wide playmaker. But again, that gives us more options different types of style. Then over here, we have Ryan Bowman, and he's a striker. Again, um, he's a first teamer, three star. Um, again, like I said, just a different types of styles and different types of strikers that we have. So he's obviously one of experience, um, and he's a deep line forward. Again, like I said, just something different. Uh, we potentially could probably play him as potential a target man, um, that's not too bad for what he has over here. But, yeah, we're just trying to find different types of players that can play different types of styles. As you may know already, Rhys Milner, um, Rhys Milner, sorry, um, he's going to come back. We signed him on a free. Um, he's a three-star potential, four-star at the moment. Unfortunately, he is out for most of the season. He is out for about three to, to five months. So that's very unfortunate that our, um, one of our top goal scorers from last season um, is out for most of the, probably most of the season, probably half of the season. But then we've got this big guy here, and we got him on a free, and that's uh, and that's Austin Samuels. He's a four star rating potential, four and a half star. Um, he's bagged in a lot of goals. He's bagged in six goals in four games. Um, that is uh, brilliant. And again, another advanced forward that we have in the squad. Um, I'll be expecting quite a bit from him. And he looks like he really knows um, how to find the back of the net. 
Um, so that'd be very interesting to find that out as well. We also got another centre midfielder and I've seen Goss. Again, like I said, we're looking to uh, find players with more, um, with just quality. As you can see from our other players, um, this guy here, he's got good technique, good passing, good first touch, decision, composure, uh, the whole work. So he will be our first choice midfielder and he's a three and a half potential four star deep line playmaker. So we got so far. Um, sorry, it goes on again. We finally have a right back now. I believe is of a decent quality. And that's Anton Wilkes. Um, as you can see here, he plays as a non-nonsense fullback. But we can swing, switch him up between a wing back and a fullback. Very strong. Um, gets in your face. And yeah, that's basically it. He can play as a defensive midfielder and set midfield. So again, we have a lot of um, versatile players um, in the squad. Uh, we've got Remy Matthews, who's obviously coming um, as our goalkeeper. Again, just an upgrade to what we have is a three and a half star, so he's probably playing at his full potential. Um, we obviously have Ugbo there, but obviously there's no harm in having him. We've got a youngster on loan as well of Simon Fletcher, and he's just a a, um, a, centre, a centre back, just to have. Um, some cover for um, Lewin, Lewis, sorry, and um, Feeney. Um, as you can see here as well, very, very good um, mentors for a defender. Probably position could be better and composure um, apart from that. And Hedren, sorry, could be better. So we definitely have to be careful with him. Uh, but at the moment, he's a four-star potential five-star uh, defender. Obviously, still young, only 19 years old. And last but not least, we have... Paul Maitland. Um, just again, another uh, right back. He's a uh, two and a half star potential, uh, three and a half, um, four and a half. Um, and that's all the players we've brought in so far. So we've spent um, only about 36.5k. Um, the rest have been on um, our, for the wages. So obviously that's what you can know. Uh, Leon Davies, as you can see before, we got rid of him for 74k. MK Dons, Ben House, got to Hereford. Bielik, Spridis, and Akutu. Uh, those are players that have gone. Um, if we look into the schedule, we haven't been too bad, um, only losing to Rangers 2-1, which wasn't bad. Um, we scored quite a few goals, as you can see, but hopefully we'll be able to bring that into the into the new season. Um, but it's going to be difficult, so we'll just see how each of it goes. So we are playing Brentford. And... Um, it's going to be interesting to find out how we do in our first game. Um, hopefully, we win the game, um, but each we take each game as it comes. Again, if we can get a draw, that would be brilliant. Um, if we can get points from, like I said, if we can win our home games and claw points away from home, then um, that's the best thing for us to do, and that's what I would like us to do. Um, hopefully, that will be able to work and we'll be able to <clears throat> get out of this. But I do think, I know I've said it before, Potentially that we probably stay in this league probably for a few seasons uh, before we start getting up to the Premier League. But let's see what happens um, as we go from there. But again, like I said, um, it's going to be interesting to find out how we start. Um, but we just take, like I said, each game as it comes and as you just see there, our right back has just been injured for three to four weeks. And that's not a good start. Not a good start at all. Ah, great. Not a good start at all. Our right back has been injured. Um, and it's just the start of the new season. And what a way to start when you've got your best right back injured. Again, there's a lot of big teams um, in the championship, obviously. Um, so it is going to be very difficult. Um, we're just going to have to take each game as it comes, to be honest with you, um, and just take it from there. It's going to be difficult, but we're just going to have to try. That's all we can do. We can only try. Um, so let's just see how that goes. Okay, so we are back with our first game of the championship, and that is Brentford versus Dulwich Hamlet. We are still playing our 4-4-2 wing play. Uh, we have Matthews in goal. We have Vulcans, Feeney, Fletcher and Moore as our back four. Obviously Moore's coming for 
um, Volks because he's been injured. Um, and then we have um, Lomanzo, Gos, Hergini and Whitfield as our attacking, um, as our midfield four, sorry. And then we have Samuels and Bone out front. I'm hoping that we'll be able to do the job today. Um, let's just... So away from home. So hopefully we'll be able to win this game. But we'll just see how we fare out to these, um, how we end up playing. Again, it may take us some time, obviously, to get used to uh, playing against these types of players. But hopefully we'll be fine. So I just want, I'm just going for the players that I feel and the positions that I feel we really, really need to go for. Um, obviously, the fullbacks are going to get involved because we need to make sure that we press them um, as well. And I'm just going to leave that as that. And hopefully uh, that will work. And come on, Dajj Hablet, we can do this. I'm going to leave it on balance just to see how it is. Um, I'm just, I am going to make a slight change um, just because in transition, I would prefer us to do that. Um, and I'm hoping that this will work. Let's go. Right, so the season started now. Championship, Dalish Hamlet. Let's see how we do. Come on, lads. So we've got our throw in a, that's a dangerous area in our box. Let's see what Moore does. And Moore decides to play a long ball over. And we're straight on it now. Goss is with the ball. And he's got him there. There you go, bold. The bold! Oh, no. Unlucky. He tried to chip. That could have been us. We have to be clinical here, lads. Um, good start so far. Not a bad start. Um, Goss intercepted. Straight away, he goes on his bike. Um, puts in a brilliant ball in for Bone. And Bone takes it a little bit wide. Tries to chip through the audacious chip. And it just goes over. And that was very close. Um... Now Brentford with the throw and Lamanza with the header um, straight back to them. There you go. That's it. This is what we want. The counter attack. And now we can play this now. Samuels with the ball. And if we can cross that, oh, he could have waited there. Too early. Done it too early. There you go. Oh, just over. Come on. We've got to make this count now. Um, hmm. Maybe we should work the ball into the box more. Um, let's go for that um, in possession. Uh, sorry, in possession. Let's work ball. Um, it is good to do, obviously, cross it in first time. But there, if we can try and work it into the box, um, that could be probably better um, for us. Um, but at the moment, 40 minutes have gone. Um, we've had probably, we've had the better chance. Um, hopefully, we we'll able to continue it but they've Brentford have the corner and we've just given a penalty I'm not sure what's happened there they haven't done anything in this game and we stupidly give away a penalty not a way to start the league campaign come on keeper yeah 1-0 to Brentford I'm not sure what he was doing there he didn't need to foul um, but the referee gave it, so there's nothing we can do. They don't deserve that. That's just... Uh, we've been the better team, the better chances so far, but still early. 23 minutes have gone. There's plenty of time for us to come back, and hopefully we will do that. Um, so Whitford with the corner, and this is what we're good at. Our set pieces. Come on. Got to score that. It's right there for you. Got to be clinical. I don't know if that was Samuels that was that had that header, but we have to do better there. We need to score that. How we didn't score that, I don't know. Um, that's right in front of you. You got to you got to bury that. But we go again. Uh, we've got six shots, four on target. Um, not bad. Um, Fletcher with the throw, the bone. Well, we're not playing too bad so far. It's just unfortunate we're, we are creating our own mistakes and to give away a penalty right there, it's not good. Feeney with the ball. Okay, now we're playing about with this now. Um, there you go, Bone. Uh, straight back to them. And as you can see, we're kind of pressing them here. Um, but obviously we need to be careful with stuff like that with the long balls. 
Vulcans with the ball straight back to our keeper. Um, well done. There you go. Just be careful. That's a long ball over. And again, that's what we're good at, so we have to do it. But we've been left dispossessed in the middle. Oh, that's poor. Come on, guys. Oh, what a goal. What can you talk about? That was so lucky. Oh, they don't deserve this. But what a goal. You saw the bend on that. Um, keeper had no chance. And unfortunately, we're 2-0 down. And I don't think we deserve to be 2-0 down, to be honest with you. Um, we really don't deserve to be 2-0 down. But it's happened. It's happened. So we'll just get over it. 2-0 to Brentford. Personally, for me, I don't think they deserve it. Um, but wow. Just one ball over the top. And we're just able to just uh, uh, capitulate like that. Right. Seriously, demand more. 2-0. Um, one long shot and then a penalty. So we really did deserve that, but that's how it goes. Right, so we take we start off the second half. Hopefully it will be better, but let's see. And we've had chances, we just haven't been clinical. If you're not clinical in this league, you're gonna get punished. Um, at the moment we've had seven shots, five on target. And um trying to figure out how we may change this right now. Um, and Genie doesn't seem to be having the best of games. Um I'm gonna make that substitution now to be honest. Um and he's nervous. Um, let's put on Kyan Flanagan. Um, he usually plays as box to box. Let's get him going. And still with Brentford are attacking us. And I can see it looks like it's going to be another long shot here. That's what it looks like. What happened? Not sure what happened there, but maybe we fouled and it playing on. And this is so much space, and you can't give them space like that right there. And it's three 0 We don't deserve to be three 0 down. But if you're defending like that and you're not marking your players, you are gonna get. You are gonna lose. Oh my gosh! Right. No good now. I guess this is welcome to the championship, Dalish Hamlet. Um, but we start we started it off not bad, but it's all all been our mistakes. To be fair, I don't really think it's been um, the quality of really Brentford. To be honest with you, um, yes. Wow, four 0 Okay. Uh, this is not what we want. Four 0 on your first. Wow. In fact, we might as well just go. Um, we might as well just go cautious because I'm looking to get embarrassed because this is actually our first, def first major defeat. I don't think we've been beaten like this before, and I'm hoping it's not going to be even more because this is very embarrassing. Oh, this is very embarrassing, boys. Welcome to the championship, I guess. Oh, gosh. To lose four 0 is something. Um, Sixty eight minutes have gone. Don't really think there's much that we can do. To be honest with you, um, I'll just be making substitutions for the sake of it. Um, Burn hasn't had the best of games. Let's put Bowen on there. Um, just not happy. To be honest with you, really just not happy. Um, That's that's a that's a big that's a battering to be honest with you. Ugh, um, where do we even start? All the defense has been terrible. Feeney been poor. It's not going to make any difference now, but might as well give other people a run out. Um, I expected that it would be hard, but I think four 0 is harsh. Percy for me, I think four 0 is harsh, but. It is what it is at the moment, and there's nothing you can do. Um, this is not the way we wanted to start the first half of the season. Well, the first game of the season, uh, but 
what can we do? Oh, 84 minutes have gone and I'm counting down the time. I'm hoping it's not going to be any more. Um, we can at least try and score a goal, consolation goal, but I just don't see it happening, to be honest. And I'm hoping they're not going to do more mistakes. Right, so that's a long ball over the top there for Samuels, if we can cross that in. And it's just, and that's just, the uh, that just says it all. That's exactly how we are. And yeah, look at that, just scrappy, scrappy goal. At least we scored a goal, but even then that was just about 4-1. Um, Makes doesn't make it seem that bad. If we can get another one, that would be even better. Oh, 4-1. Surely they're not going to make it 5. Surely they will not make it 5. Surely they will not make it 5. And I don't know what we're doing here. And it's an on goal, 5-1. Wow. Wow. 5-1. It's not what I expected. Oh, not what I expected at all. Guess this is welcome to the championship. Oh, hopefully not all games will be like this. And the game's over, 5-1, and what a way to start uh, the campaign. Um, it's been terrible. Um, I'm not sure why I, why I did that for. Oh, it doesn't make no difference. Just confused my players even more. And we're probably rock bottom, to be honest with you, right now. Surely no one's lost that that much. Yep, and we are rock bottom with minus four points. Minus four goals, sorry. Um, yes, this is looking like it's going to be a serious, serious season. Um a long and hard season. We've just been beaten 5-1 by Brentford. Not that I was expecting us to beat them, but 5-1 is a battering. Um, we started off well and then we just got worse and worse after we gave away a penalty. Um, but again, thank you very much for watching. This is Football Manager Maniac. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye.